All right, we're getting dangerously close to this pirate's nest. I don't know if I should cut in here or whatever, but welcome back to Let's Play Sugiden 4, everybody. Are you ready for story time? Story time is about to continue, but first, random battles, because they're my favorites. They're my favorites. Anyway, we'll go ahead and fight them. It's fast-paced, you already know. Anyway, I've kind of I've kind of taken a liking to this party. I very much like looking at Jean, but she's also a fantastic magic user. I mean, for God's sake, she's got the freaking... She had the lightning rune. I went ahead and replaced that with the water rune. But then I gave her that awesome rage rune that I got last episode, if you recall. Maybe I should show my setup a little bit real quick before we get to where we're going here. Um, yeah, so she's got the charm rune that she comes with, which charms enemy monsters. Okay, woohoo. But yeah, so we got the water rune, which is fully powered up. And we got a rage rune now, which is pretty badass. I went ahead and put that lightning rune I have left over. I put it on her, on uh, Mizuki because, well, lightning rune is useful to have. And I went ahead and bought a killer rune and put it on the Artholomew. Also, I put a water rune back on the main character. Didn't I, did I put a water rune on him early on in the game? If I didn't, I meant to. I guess I gave it to Chipu instead. Anyway, we're almost here to the pirate's nest. Let's hopefully get there. Come on. Come on. Pirate's nest. Wait, this is not it? This is it, right? Hold on. I thought this was it. Pretty sure this is it. I should, I should check my map. But first, we gotta fight another goddamn random battle. Hold on. Hold up. Hold the phone. <laughs> fight a random battle right quick, yeah. Don't you dare electrocute me. Don't you dare! Yeah, with Bartholomew having a, a killer rune on, his, his crit hit rate is bitching. You see that shit? You see that shit? I think we just said I did 700 damage. If not, it said pretty close to that much. Kill the rune for the win, baby. Ooh, a lightning rune piece. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's double check. Where we at? We're here, right? Yeah, we're here. Okay, so we need to like. There we go. There we go. All I had to do was turn. We're good. Cut scene. Go. Cut scene mode engaged. Here we go. We're at the pirates. Hey, look, we followed Kika here. Three episodes later. <laughs> All right, Kika, we're here. Welcome me to your home. Take me to your leader. Or, well, well, she probably is the leader. So there you go. All now, right. please come inside. Will do. I'd follow that ace anywhere, girl. Come on now. There's nothing particularly wrong here. What? You want something? <laughs> yeah. Don't want anything from you. All right. So starting in this area, I think there's something around here somewhere we can pick up. It may not look like it, but most of us are actually real kind at heart. Well, most, mind you. <laughs> oh, treasure chest. Treasure map. All right. That's all I was looking for. Okay, now that we got that, we want to go over here real quick. I believe... The barrel, maybe? If you want, I'll even strengthen your weapons. Okay, so we got a blacksmith here. How far can he go? Level 9. That's cool. No, we're good. Um, there should be a path over here somewhere that leads to something. No one will believe me, but the other day I saw a mermaid at the sea around here. I swear it was in my imagination. That's actually a hint that you can get one of the other mermaids here in this area. This is the pathway we want. Yes, pirate bracers. Actually, is that a good piece of equipment? Let's find out. Bengal. Pirate bracers. Makes me stronger than yesterday. Yeah, let's do it. I like it. Bangle? Anybody? Bangle. Look how shitty my armor is, man. I need to save some money up for some armor. That's what I need to do. I've been using all my money on leveling up weapons, which isn't a bad thing, but I got no armor for shit. We haven't really done a lot of dungeon dungeons that give you a bunch of armor, which is what I'm used to suking and doing. Um, anyway, I got that. So we talked to the pirate that's standing near shore. He told us about the mermaid. I believe that's all we really need to get from him. Pretty sure. Yeah, let me make sure that's all he said about the mermaid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you don't talk to him about the mermaid, then you won't find the mermaid. So make sure you talk to him. It's just kind of like when we had to get Gene. We had to talk to the right people to even activate it. Um, okay, so now that we're done with that, let's follow the cave. Follow the Kika into the cave. Follow the Kika into the cave. And... I love this loading screen, by the way. It's hilarious. Cat's following that hot little Gene number. Welcome to the pirate bar inside the cave. Big surprise, am I right? Okie day. Pirate bar is very lively, then awesome loading screens for the win. All right, what are you doing there, dude? And who do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to the dude sitting right in front of me, bruh. You bruh should go on home. You're going to get hurt if you keep wandering around here. Bitch, don't you dare threaten me. Phil! 
nice hair, bro. His hair actually looks exactly like my hair. That's awesome. Anyway, if you would just assemble the desired materials, I shall tailor any suit for you. Come to think of it, that ship over there is yours, isn't it? Could I be allowed to b on board there, too? With a ship that size, you must have many people on board, right? I could tailor clothes to my heart's content. Yeah, sure, join us. Okay, it's official. I'll start making preparations right away. Excuse me. Not sure what a dude like him is doing here on Pirate's Island, but I'll take him. Anyway, um, you won't be able to recruit Phil if you haven't recruited 40 or more characters. Obviously, that's our benchmark. We've recorded 40 or more, so now we have Phil. Milk? We don't got any milk here. Did I ask for milk? Bitch, please. I didn't ask for milk. I didn't ask. God damn it. I didn't say any words. Didn't say any words. All right, so now that we got that let's go in here real quick yeah kika's room we actually want to go in here real quick i know i know she probably wouldn't want us going in her room while she's not looking but there's stuff in here we want like i don't know a treasure chest that has an ocean a treasure map and a ocean rune piece damn right um i believe that's all we can do in here for now her room is full of plunder and a bed one sexy bed all oh, year and a nice full-on chicken dinner with wine waiting for me i mean her Anyway, let's go back and talk to her now. I mean, we did come here because of her. We should probably talk to her. What do you think? Let's see what she's got to say. Yo, Kika, what up, girl? Have a seat. Indeed I shall. We have to have a loading screen to have a seat, apparently, though. It's too tough to render that. It's too tough to render me actually doing that. All right, conversation a while. will be had. Yeah. So, why did Kuluk suddenly invade your kingdom? If it was Scarlet Moon or Gaian, I could understand, but... Scarlet Moon? They can't take others like Gaian head-on. I presume their first move will be to colonize the islands to the south. From there, they'll secure resources. I suppose that's their strategy, but time will tell. Cray Trading Company also bothers me. Their recent activities just don't add up. I'm thinking the two might be related somehow. Cray Trading Company. We've been letting those maggots have their way far too often. Hey, it's that guy. But if they've joined forces with Kuluk, Cray Trading Company will be impossible to take on by ourselves. Hmm. So how about it? Miss Kika, what do you say we join forces and take them on together? Hey, does he know who he's talking to? We're pirates! For the king to suggest something so rebellious... What's wrong with two parties banding together for a common interest? Don't you agree? I mean, yeah. Let's fight together, Miss Kika. Come on! Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Damn right. And that's it. She's in. She's in there. Right? That's it? So, he'll be the one in command of your ship, am I right? Yep, that's right. Hmm, in command, even over the king? I don't really get it. Bitch, I'm a master commander, you shut your mouth. Well, you're not the first person to notice that, but... Aboard a ship, the captain has absolute command, Dario. You should know that. I suppose that for the sake of a common goal, I will place my trust in you. Let us fight together. Aw, oh, yeah. Kika joined, Sigurd joined, Hervey joined, Dario joined, Nalio joined. Nalio's Dario's little son, I guess. Don't forget about him. So we got five more people just recruited on a black screen. You know I've, how attached I get to that. Anyway, so now we got all sorts of new characters just now. A bunch of pirates and shit. What did he say? Don't waste my time if you got nothing to say. Bitch, you ain't got nothing to say. Bitch, please. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else to do here at the moment. I think we can just get the fuck out of here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Girl. Mm-hmm. Girl. Mm-hmm. 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 Girl. Okay, so let me double check. Yep, alright, so let's get back out there. To the ship, baby. To the ship. And I'm actually going to switch up my party a little bit. I know I like the party I have right now, and I will use the shit out of them. But I'm going to switch up my party a little bit real quick. Because, actually, you know what? I think this ship actually sails with me, doesn't it? Yeah, I think the reason why there's another ship with me is that actually it sails with you. So now we finally have another ship that goes around with us. Which I find to be very, very cool. A very cool detail, rather. 
And now, it'd be one thing, like, we're building up an army, it's okay, it's like, okay, well, that means we gotta build up a fleet of ships, right? We can't just go around with one ship and defeat entire armies, right? Well, that is true. So, we gotta build up a ship fleet of ships. Now that we got the pirates on our team, we have an extra ship. Kika ship, to be exact. Anyway, we're here to change party members. Where's, where's, what's his face? I guess he's downstairs. He's over by where Vicky's hanging out. I want to switch party members, cause, mostly because I want to level them up a little bit. I just want to level them up a little bit. Just so they're leveled for later. Uh, I, I, mean, I want to try to get them to at least like 33, 34, 35 around there. Anyway, we're going to bring Kika. We're going to bring... I haven't tried Isaac out yet. We got hella new characters to use, man. This is crazy. I want to go Sigurd. And I want to go... Hervey? Or do I want to go Dario? Dario's pretty low level. He's Sario Dario for real. Maybe I should bring all the lower level guys with me. Because Hervey's low level too. Dude... Do I really have that many characters to use now? Jeez. I have a lot of choices. Alright, we'll, we'll bring Dario, I think. Not a bad idea. He's the lowest level one. In fact, instead of Kika, let's bring Hervey. Start out with all the lower level ones. Kika's gonna low, level up slower. So, yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Never mind. Better idea. Better idea. Let's make use of these extra groups. You know what I mean, right? These extra groups, these extra... Wait, I want my order to be the same, sorry. Um, these extra ship parties. Let's make use of that, because we can use all four of them in one party now. So we'll put Kika in there, put Dario in there, we'll put Herbie in there, we'll put Sigurd in there, and they'll just be a whole party by their own, by themselves. Hell yeah, that's good, that's good. And party two, I don't care for Rita too much. Let's put, um, put Chipu in there. Tall, he's okay. I don't like Tall that much, though. I think I'd rather have Paula in there over him. Mitsuba, I like. Reinhold's okay. Reinhold's okay. Do I like somebody better than him right now? Not really. Vicky's probably a pretty good magic user. I could probably have two pretty good magic users in my party with Vicky and Jean at the same time. I haven't tried out Kate yet, so I don't know if she's any good. Pablo, neither, or Isaac, I already said. Or Shiramane, or Igetsu. Tell by their level. A lot of people that still gotta try out. Maybe or maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I mostly just want to form a party of four that I really like using. Eventually, I get the feeling Bartholomew is gonna lose his spot, and so will Mizuki. But for now, they're my party. So, um, yeah. So we want to just depart for now. I think. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of money. I was thinking about leveling up weapons for Kika and her crew, but until I get a little more money. I'm not gonna even bother trying. Okay, so we're back out on the world map. Um, I believe all we want to do here is sail around for a few minutes and just fight a few battles. Now I'm probably just gonna fight a bunch of noob stuff. Probably just gonna use Kika's team to do the fighting. So let's actually do it on screen just so we can see Kika's party in action. Maybe there's new, maybe they have some cool uh, com uh, combo attacks they can do. First thing I'm gonna do though to make this a little easier on them because they need to level up is take out part of the enemies with this crew. I found that's a pretty effective way to level up your, your shittier teams. Just take out most of them with your main guys. And switch parties. The other crew. Have I done this on screen? Switch parties on screen? I don't even remember if I have. Those of you watching will have to let me know. Anyway, here's her team. I've never even... I don't remember any of these bitches. Any of them got any combos they can do? Doesn't seem to be the case. At least not at the moment. Damn, they're gonna need some weapon leveling. They got some low ass damage output right now. Look how shitty they are. Well then, this is gonna be fun. Kill him! I just need you to kill this one guy right now. Come on, Sario Dario. Come on, Kika Bobika. There you go. Just wanna get some level ups for y'all, man. There we go. What are we at? 31, 27, 30. There we go. Now they should be able to handle some enemies. Well, should. Being the operative word, they don't exactly have the weapon level ups for it. I believe they're all pretty low weapon levels, if I'm not mistaken. Can I look at my other crews? I can't even look at my other crews. It's kind of lame. You should be able to look at all your all the crews that you have set up. You should be able to look at them while you're in the goddamn status screen. That's dumb. What if one of those crews is dying and I need to heal them? I guess the game doesn't give a shit. Anyway, do the same thing I did last battle. Let these guys handle. The bulk of the battle. Don't you dare. I don't think they'll win it on this turn, will they? 
Actually, they might. Nope. Sweet. Perfect. Perfect. Just leave one craft. One craft. I I do I generally do not care for that loading. Not just the sound that it makes, but just the loading in general. When you're switching from one loop to the next, it's kind of irritating. I actually really like that dude on the top that just stands there and throws that shit. He reminds me a lot of Lena and Eilie from uh, from Sugden 2. Just how he stands there so still and then just throws some shit. And he just doesn't even fucking move around at all. Kind of all badass and shit. Alright, let's give it one more battle and then we'll go back into the pirate's nest. And yes, my whole point here is I need to go back in the pirate's nest after we have done what we're doing. I don't know how long we're supposed to wait till we go back in there. Maybe longer than what I'm doing. But I just want to see how long I gotta kind of just make circles and do some stuff out here until then. Basically, we're trying to wait for an event to happen in Pirate's Nest. I don't actually know what activates it, if it's just leaving and coming back right away. Maybe I didn't have to go around, wander around at all. But I figured I might as well wander around a little bit just to show you guys some battles with, with the pirate crew right quick. You know? Plus, the extra money will be useful. I need the money, man. I've been spending all my money on motherfucking weapon stuff, man. The other party handle this. Pirate crew has got it. They're all level 30, 31 now. They got this. But I needed some harder enemies to level up on. But I really need. There you go, girl. Wait, she didn't even kill one of those bitches yet. That's all bad. They're all about to get wrecked, man. Don't wreck my new pirate crew, man. They didn't do nothing yet. Let them do some. All right, there we go. There you go. Booyah. Now they're all 32, baby. 32s. I can't lose with 32s. All right, let's go ahead and head back into the Pirate Land Island. Pirate Land Island. If we can get there with, a, with another battle, that's fine. Or without. That's either way is fine with me. Let's just do it. Yup. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 all right. Let's see if I've activated what I wanted to activate. That'd be nice. Otherwise, I'll cut and show you guys when I do activate it. Nope, here we go. Hey, a guest washed up here while you guys were out. Claims to be a Knight of Gaian. Wait, what? A member of the Knights of Gaian, you say? Where might this person be right now? Being treated in Lady Kika's room right now. I don't know, looked real ragged and worn down. A Knight of Gaian? Could it be one of our friends? Oh, we're gonna find... Oh, look who it is, guys. Look who it is. Did you expect her to wash up on shore in a pirate's land? Hell no. Uh, you're alive. Damn right I am. Uh, Tell's wrong with uh, you. What has happened? Something if you happened? Wish, you could kill me right now. You hate me, don't you? Not particularly. Hate snow more, but not you. I mean, you're not nice. Miss Katarina, for you to say that is... You guys too? Why are you here? We have been doing what we can so that someday we may prove his innocence. What did you say? Are you serious? You're fools. Don't call me a fool. Eating a criminal is not only irresponsible, you're liable to be punished for it. Bitch, I'll show you punishment. Uh, but still... <laughs> but there's no one who wants to punish you anymore. Uh, what? Th then, his innocence has been... That's not it. That's not it at all. Actually, it's... Rosaril. Rosaril has been seized by the Kuluk. Aid from Gaia never came. <gasps> Is this true? What about all the knights? To my knowledge, there have been no casualties as of yet. Oh, that's right. You don't know. Snow is commander now. He sold Razeril out to the Kuluk. Why am I not surprised? Especially since we saw that cutscene earlier where he was in the room with all those other douche cakes, like the governor and stuff. Snow did what? Further, as a reward, I believe he's now captain of Kuluk's anti-pirate task force. <laughs> he's captain of something? I can't believe anybody put that douche cake captain as anything. Oh my god, can I can I please fight Snow right now? Please. I'm sure if Commander Glenn were still here, he would be deeply disheartened to hear this. Uh, this would have never happened if he was still here. 
How could this have come to pass? They didn't come just to invade. They grilled us about the pirate attack on Razoril. As a result, I was... Let her get some rest now. I cannot believe any of it. Troy. I bet he was getting ready to invade Razoril when we met him. Could have been. Okay, so... Interesting. Does that mean we gotta go to Razoril and fucking put snow in his goddamn place? Guess so. Let her sleep for a while, the injury she suffered. Okay, in that case, I guess we'll leave the room. Um, is there more scenes right now? Yep, I think so. Probably. There we go. Going after Gaian and attacking us too? I can't understand. But there's no doubt they're growing more powerful. We'll have to gather up all the forces we can to fight Kuluk. But what's the best way? <laughs> we just can't. We can just ask Miss Eleanor. Dario, you thick-headed drunk. You've had enough for today. <laughs> Eleanor? Eleanor Silverberg? She's the Scarlet Moon Empire's tactician. But I haven't heard any word of her lately. Okay. We just got two big fucking name drops right here. And nobody's even going to say anything? No, I'm just kidding. Of course they're going to say it like it's nothing. But let me say something, because these are important things in the Sukadin universe, my friends. Eleanor Silverberg? Who the fuck is that? I mean, we had all... The Silverbergs have played an important part in all of these games. First game, we had Matthew, or Matthew, however you like to pronounce. We had Odessa. We had Leon. And then in the second game, Leon lived on and stuck around. And, his, and then Shu and Apple, which were... Uh, Matthew, Matthew, however you want to pronounce it, his uh, disciples, Apple and Shu, lived on, and, they, and then we got our, those were the strategists of the game. And then in the third game, we had uh, Hugo and Caesar. It was a Hugo and Caesar. Hugo, I know it was Caesar. Was his name Hugo? It wasn't Hugo, was it? Caesar, Caesar. It wasn't Hugo Silverberg, was it? It was something Silver. No, Hugo is the fucking. What am I say, Hugo? It was Caesar. And shit. Albert, Albert. Caesar and Albert, which are the grandsons of Leon Silverberg, right? So who the fuck is Eleanor Silverberg? Is she related to I mean she's gotta be related to one of them, but who? Who is she the daughter of somebody? Is she the mom of somebody? And when I say the mom, I mean is she like is this like when timeline wise when does this Sukadin game take place does it take place before the events of Sukadin 1 and the only reason I say that is because we have mention of the Scarlet Moon Empire yes you see that I think you do see that so if that's the case that would mean that this is taking place before or at least during the events of Sukadin 1 probably before it would make the most sense which is really strange to me that they would go with a motherfucking prequel. I still, it baffles my mind that they chose to go with a fucking prequel-ish story for Sukadin 4. After doing 1, 2, 3, I mean, they don't have, they're not literally right one after the, one right after the other, but at least there's like, they go in progressive order in terms of timeline. They really fucked up with this game. Anyway, let me uh, tell you where the Scarlet Moon Empire is in comparison, like on the world map from where we are. Scarlet Moon Empire is actually north of where we are. So, Sukadin 1 takes place Scarlet Moon Empire. Sukadin 2 takes place north of Scarlet Moon Empire. And they and they actually talk about Jostin in that game. So it was cool that play that in Sukadin 2. And then Sukadin 2, you play the Jostin area and you and uh, you learn about the Sukadin 3 areas, which were Harmonia, Zexin, and Grasslands. And then Sukadin 3 takes place over there. So you're like, cool. More areas I've heard about, we get to play in. Cool. And you hear about a couple other kinds of areas in earlier Sukadin 2 and 3. But you don't really hear much about anywhere other around Sukadin 1 other than to the north and slightly to the like east or something. They never mention what's south of Scarlet Moon Empire. Which apparently is this fucking ocean that we're in for this game. And a bunch of fucking islands. How shitty of a setting it is. Well, you know, it's not even that the setting is shitty. It's just that it holds very little connection to any of the other games. In that we never really met anybody who was from this area, and that just just and, and the fact that it all takes place before all that, so we're not going to see anybody from the other games. I mean, unless they're younger, which I guess could happen. But I mean, we met Vicky and we met Jean. 
okay. But they're in all the games. Can we meet somebody else who's like younger and connected to the first game? That would be really cool, right? <sighs> well, we'll get to that later. Anyways, let's stop talking about this one line we got from Lino here. She retired a long time ago. Okay, so she must be old now. That's right, she retired in connection with some incident. But, hmm, Eleanor. I heard that it was Eleanor who helped out Scarlet Moon drive away the Kuluk. If only we had someone like that now. So Kuluk actually attacked Scarlet Moon at some point, apparently, according to Lino there. So yeah, there was no mention of that in Sukuna one at all. And if there was, where the fuck was it? I will I don't pass word that of shit. this along to Eleanor for you. You should pay her a visit. Wait, you know where Eleanor is? What's that? Are you saying you know Eleanor? You could have told us earlier. Eleanor has her own problems to deal with. And what those what my I those doubt you all could be. understand how she feels. I'll notify her, but the rest will be up to you. Okay. Fine. I got this. Don't you worry. I got this, girl. All right, so I guess we're going to go meet Eleanor Silverberg. That's kind of an interesting thing. You know what we're going to do before we do any of that? We're going to save it. Do we need to stay here? Uh, maybe we should stay here. I hate to spend 1,200 potch on this shit. Should I actually do this? No, screw that. I'm just going to save it. And I'm only saving it here because we're not going to get a very good moment to save it again for a little bit. So we might as well do it now. And then we're going to head back to the ship and do our thing. You guys ready for do to do our thing? Which is, I don't know, go meet Eleanor or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure I know what we're supposed to do. Or I should say what we're planning on doing right now. But what I do know is we're going to go back to our ship and see what's about to happen. So let's do it. Would you like to come aboard the ship? Indeed I would. Indeed I would. Indeed I, indeed I would. Indeed I would. Indeed I, indeed I would. I should have spent my money on upgrading weapons. Well, I don't have the right party for that. Anyway, cutscene. Uh-oh. 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 Somebody's coming to attack us. Or maybe they're friends? Maybe they're friendlies. Maybe they're friendlies. Maybe. Based on our reaction, I'm thinking probably not. Nope. The music certainly makes it seem like they're not friendly either. Oh, hell no! Aha! Uh -huh. I finally found you! <laughs> Pirate Kika's game. Prepare for battle! Fuck that. Fuck that. He doesn't even know I'm here, but he's about to get f fucked up. That son of a bitch. They did say he was the leader of the pirate anti-pirate squad or whatever. It can't be. Is that really Snow? Oh, it's really him, and he's about to really get fucked up. What? You know him? What? Yeah, bitch, where do you think I'm from, son? You don't even know where I'm from. You? You guys turned to piracy? Bitch, please. You turned to anti-piracy? Captain, what are your instructions? Uh, we'll attack. Yes, these pirates must die so that all may navigate the seas in safety. Sir. Sir. Wow. He still sounds like a little bitch. Does it not do do you not well, that's he, a Kuluk no, he, flag. You know he's actually but scared of me. Coming though. out that's this far to hunt pirates? Cray Trading Company must be involved. How ironic. He's hunting pirates, but acts like one himself. Die for the safety of all? <laughs> I can't believe my ears. How can we even hear each other? Are we that close? Snow! Snow! Prepare to die, Snow!